YouTube, how's it going? This is Brandon from Bee Wizzles Aquatics. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button for me, and then the notification bell. Share it out, folks, if it really helps the algorithm. Also, go to hammersreef.com at YouTube and Facebook, and also Twitter coming soon to you. Bee Wizzle Aquatics. So, yeah, today we're going to be acting to a video. BBB method using bleach, borax, and bacon soda. As you know, I clean pools for a living, so we wanted to check out his video. And yeah, let's further ado. Let's check it out. So he uses. Some people can use his method in order uh, to maintain a swimming pool without any other chemicals. You just got to backwash, of course, and everything else. Using the BBB method. It's a method promoted on the three largest pool forums you'll find on the internet. Basically, you're going to use household products that you would find in your regular grocery store. So yeah, like you said, grocery store products, household products, is the BBB method. The BBB method. The Brandon... Uh, we're going to make another one. The Brandon Borax Bleach Bacon Soda Band. Store. And that would be bleach, borax, and baking soda to balance your pool water. And you would just add one more chemical to that mix, which is muriatic acid. So see that, that scub ladder, a scub ladder at the pool? I hate those. It's not really his fault. It's just you have to acid wash it and scrub it. Hardware store. Where that would lower some the pH. Well, it's, I'm sure from seeing the scene, it's from California. Down if it gets too high. Please visit websites, as you can see. Along with using the Clorox bleach, the baking soda, the razor alkalinity, and the borax to raise your... So, the Clorox is for the chlorine. The baking soda is for bringing alkalinity up and pH up. And the borax is to keep everything in check, basically. Um, to make sure the swimming pool is on par. I have never used it, though, so... your pH. You're going to need just muriatic acid from your local pool store. or Also acid to bring the pH down. Um, and the alkalinity down, same thing. If you want to, those two go together. In uh, fish tanks and uh, swimming pools. So there you go. Hardware store. I use 31% muriatic acid on my route. You can find this in the pool store. If you go to a hardware store, you may get a little weaker acid solution. But that's how you lower your pH is with the muriatic acid in your pool. And again, you raise your pH with the borax. Oh, okay, so that's what he raises. He uses borax too to raise it. Baking soda, and you sanitize your water with the Clorox bleach. So the Clorox bleach is the same exact ingredient that you would find in liquid chlorine that you would get at your pool store or local hardware store. The one I use on my route is... That's true. You can go to a Walmart, your local store, or anywhere and buy Clorox. Um, you don't have to use chlorine tabs from the local pool store. You don't have to get the shock. You don't have to do all that. If you have a simple pool, I mean, you can use, I've seen people use so many different things like alcohol and, yeah, Clorox is the way to go. 12.5% sodium hypochlorite. Yeah, so it's sodium hypochlorite. They have, they have also, which is uh, salt. So, so they have and then your bleach here, this is actually a concentrated Clorox bleach. Let me get the label here. And it's uh, sodium hypochlorite. So yeah, sodium hypochlorite. Chlorite, 8.25 percent. So it's a little bit weaker. And so if you test your water and your pH is too low, you would add the borax to bring it up. If the pH is too high, you would add muriatic acid from your local hardware store or pool store to bring it down. Only use muriatic acid too, by the way. And what you're trying to achieve is the ideal pH range of 7.4 to 7.6. That would make the the Clorox bleach a lot more efficient in killing the bacteria and viruses in the pool. Yep, so, um, correct, uh, there, if your pH is high, your chlorine's not gonna work as well to kill all the bacteria. Um, the bad bacteria.
And you're also trying to achieve the balance of the alkalinity. You want to keep it between 80 and 120 parts per million in most swimming pools. So yeah, 80 to 100 to 120 to alkalinity pH. I like 7.4 or 7.6. Um, chlorine ideal is uh, 1 to 3. I like keeping them at 5 in the summers. Um, and calcium to 200 to 400. CYA from 30 to 60. And the alkalinity is tied in with the pH. So when you lower the pH with the muriatic acid, the alkalinity will drop. When you raise your pH with the borax, the alkalinity will rise slightly. So you want to use the baking soda to raise your, your alkalinity if it gets below 80. That will raise the alkalinity without raising the pH hardly at all. And one of the main reasons you want to keep the alkalinity in range and it prevents pH bounce. That's when your pH yep. goes high. So that's all alkalinity is for swim pools. Well, I mean, for life really. So alkalinity is keeping that pH balanced. Keep it so it's not going from 8 to 6 to 7. To stuff like that. It's staying at a good number. Like I can tell most of my pools are balanced because if something's out of range, like a rainstorm, um, Fluid, anything, mud in the pool, swimming, I can tell by just going to the pool is not clear. And low rapidly, and having alkalinity out of range will cause that to happen. Yep, always know your pool size, guys. <laughs> so the good thing about using Clorox bleach in your pool, it won't raise your conditioner level. That's the test kit I use, is the Taylor test kit. Like the trichlor tablets with dichlor. So you have to make sure you have a residual amount of conditioner. I recommend 30 to 50 parts per million. Let's and say if you do use test strips, use those. Eric acid. You can use a test strip like this AquaCheck here to get a conditioner reading here. Or you can use a Taylor test kit, which I prefer. It has yep, I prefer those too. 30 to 30 test strips. Yep. So that's all the CYA does. It basically. Wait, what he says. Yes, explains it. So the scenario acid level should be at the 30 to 50 ppm to prevent the sun UV waves from destroying the bleach in the pool. So yeah, that's correct. Um, everybody asks, why do I need CYA? Um, and I have too much in my pool in the corner and go down and they have questions. Well, this is a very important chemical because you have none of this. You can keep adding chlorine, 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 chlorine. And you're going to be broke because it's all being destroyed by the UV rays, you swimming in it, dirt, mud, rain, whatever, you know. Part of doing the BBB method successfully is to have a good test kit. And I recommend the Taylor test kit here. This particular one is the Taylor Complete High K2005. It does the calcium hardness test, your alkalinity, conditioner. So I want to test my uh, fish tank water and use it at a pool to another one have like a controlled sample and see if it I don't know see if it works pH your chlorine I'm sure it will but I know there's different calculations green also does your acid demand and base demand test yeah test it once a week isn't it uh, Use never a basic do it when, five and one test kit. Don't test your pool every day or your fish tank every day. You'll. Yeah, I use this on my route a lot. It does alkalinity, and also does your pH and acid demand, and it uses a yellow OTO to test for your chlorine level. And I also recommend the AquaCheck test strips. So there's total chlorine and free chlorine. If you ever go to a um, hot tub or something, you smell it. That's bad because that's the um, odors um, coming out as a gas. That's basically telling them they need more chlorine. So your free chlorine is the one that's getting uh, around what can be used to kill that. To use once in a while to get a ballpark figure. It's a good way to kind of verify your test results with the Taylor kit or the 5-in-1 kit. Drop one of these in your pool and it gives you a pretty good ballpark of where your chemistry is at. Yep, sure do. One important thing to know is the size of your swim. So right there, that's a um, suction side pool cleaner, Polaris. It looks like a 280 maybe, 360. Swimming pool. 
And for this to be effective, you have to know how many gallons of water. Those are slowly going away because of robotics. Where you have in your pools, so you can add the right amount of the Clorox bleach, the borax, the baking soda, or the muriatic acid to your pool to balance the chemicals. So using the BBB method is a very inexpensive way of maintaining your pool. You can find all these products in the household aisle at your local store. You can even find muriatic acid sometimes in the garden section of your local Yes, that's used for everything, etching concrete, uh, gardens, uh, tools. Local store. And by maintaining your water balance, the right sanitizer level and pH, you won't need to worry about having a lot of algae outbreaks in your pool either. And that'll save you money without having you shocking your pool every week or two to maintain the balance of the water. And so that's a quick look at the BBB method used in maintaining your pool. Yep, also clean your filter. Um, if you don't clean your filter, chemicals and stuff can go off balance. But um, everything will go off balance. You have to backwash also. Today I'm going to talk about how to keep your pool Oops, looking sorry. sparkling blue. You You have to keep everything balanced in pool life. But thank you, thank you so much. This is Brandon from Bee Wiz Aquatics doing review. And uh, reaction to, uh, yeah, the BBB method. Let me know if you'd use the BBB method. Let me know if I should use it on a pool and test it. Uh, maybe I will. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please go to hammersreef.com. Hit that like button, please. Like, share, and subscribe. Be Wizzle out, yo. I'm in the